Hey guys, we're getting into our last black and white hand-drawn work. So that's good for you. We've hit almost the finish line with black and white. Uh, figure and ground and figure and ground reversal. I want you to think of figure as the forefront or the foreground, whatever you see first, whatever's in front. The ground as the background, whatever's in back. And figure ground reversal, it's exactly like an optical illusion where you see both at the same time. You switch back and forth. Let's look at a basic sample of this. <coughs> In these coming videos, you're going to see me go through lots of examples of how to make a foreground a background and then how to make a figure ground reversal where you can see both at the same time. I'm going to draw a simple shape. Remember, whenever I want to work quickly, I work with primitives. And for demonstration purposes, it works great. So I'm going to draw a simple angle and fill it in, triangle portion, and fill it in with black. But if I want to ask a question, the question is, what's in front in this composition? We tend to see areas in black, as in shadow or in the background, and we tend to see lighter areas in the foreground. But you could argue that either way. Or do we see white as an empty space and in the background? So... We need to go beyond this. Let's let's try to figure this out. So now, what do we see? Well, I see an, a thick outline of that same shape, which could be the figure and the white could be the ground, but it's still a little ambiguous. I'm gonna try the opposite way. I'm gonna fill in what was once white and now I'm gonna fill that in with black. What do we see now? Um, do we see this as figure? And this is ground? I don't know. Let's try to fix this by introducing pattern. How do we solve what is figure and ground successfully? Let's try to solve this with a patterning technique. And it's very similar to what we did in Closure for Gestalt. If I want the white part to be the figure, the pattern needs to be used inside this black strip. So I'm gonna add a patterning that looks like a donut inside this black strip. And I'm going to be careful and thoughtful enough to make sure that I have donuts that are cut off and donuts that are completely inside that black strip because I want the viewer to know, oh, that's what these shapes look like. Now, this is giving us something to work with. It appears that the donut pattern is being cut off by the white area. So that means that the white area is on top of the patterned black area. I purposefully left some not cut off so we see what the shape looks like. And I used a variety of shape sizes and I left that corner because that corner or those corners dictate that shape and I want to keep those. Those are important. All right, guys, let's keep practicing and we'll move on with more demos.